How's it going, everyone? Thank you all for joining. Looks like we got a few people in here already. Um, not sure if Dark, if you're still here. Um, but if you are, welcome. Aurora, welcome. Good to see you here. Jeremiah, thanks for being here. Awesome to see you. Uh, yeah, we're just going to give it a minute, as we kind of always do, just to see if some more people get in here uh, before we actually start with the build. Um, but as always, guys, let me know if my mic is too loud, too quiet, how the music sounds. Let me know, you know how all that's working for you guys, if you're able to hear it and whatnot before we get too deep into this thing. Um, hopefully, we won't have any issues. Our last stream, we had some issues with video and everything. Hopefully, we won't have any issues with this stream. But if we do, we'll figure it out. <laughs> but fingers crossed. Fingers crossed we won't have any issues. Yeah, like I said, we'll just uh, we'll give it a minute, see if a few more people jump in here, and then we will get started. How are you all doing? How's everybody's... What is, it's Wednesday, right? How's everybody's Wednesday night? Another one of these late night streams. I'm um, just trying to make the most of time with having kids and all. Might be a few more of these late night streams to be able to get some more stuff out there, but how are you all doing tonight? Aurora, awesome to see you live. Yeah, it's uh, I don't do this too often, so it's good to it's good to do this and get to actually talk with some people that I that frequently like you know comment on videos and whatnot. It's good to actually get to do a live stream and chat with some of y'all and get I guess put a face to a name and whatnot. <laughs> jump in just kind of show you guys around where um where we're gonna build and whatnot and we'll just kind of hang out in the in game for a little bit Let's switch on over to the game let me, well actually let me make sure this is good real quick all right all right so of course of course we are going to be doing this on fjorder uh, I don't know if I actually pronounce that right when I say it or not, but we're going to be doing it here. Um, nice big kind of plateau area. You can see the castle off there in the distance and then the big tree over there. So I'll pull it up real quick on the map and the GPS just kind of show you guys. So you can see here on the map, we're over here to the right of the map there. Um, you can see the castle there on the map right by that lake and everything. So nice area over here. I mean, there is a lot of a lot of bad guys over here, but it's a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice setup over here. So, and then let's go ahead and get the GPS out just to get the exact cords. So we're looking at about, well, that's actually kind of cool. About 48 lat, 84 lawn, so longitude. So, let's see if we can get it exact. Uh, here we go, 48, 84. That's pretty cool. So yeah, pretty nice open flat plateau here. Obviously there are some baddies around this area, but you know, put up a few walls, you won't have any issues. Hopefully, hopefully you won't have any issues. Great night, time is great. That's awesome. I'm good just working on a castle build in Asgard. This this uh this work center workshop's gonna have a little bit of a castle taste like or flair I guess to it. Um, so we'll see. Maybe I can give you some ideas. All right, let's uh let's go ahead and get at least get some foundations and stuff out. Get going here. You see, I have some of our crafting teams that we're gonna make a little kind of side pen for them as well. Um, sure. Let's let's move this a little bit over, I think, like right here. Actually, I need to get out some triangles too to do this little trick. Let's 
So we should hopefully be able to fit all of our like main crafting, maybe not end game, end game stuff. Like I don't think I'm gonna be able to put a tech replicator in this, but as far as like all of the like regular stuff, you should be able to fit all of this. If you teleport to Asgard, there's so much flat area to build on. Yeah, you know, I haven't really, um, I've yet to actually explore the like other zones on the map yet, to be honest. I. I explored the map a little bit, did my first house, my Viking house build, and then I went on like a week and a half long vacation and haven't gotten haven't gotten back in to do too much other stuff other than making uh, that one build, the uh, Fewer Hawk build. I need to just actually take some time to explore the entire map. How do the how do the other zones work? Are you able to build in those? I mean, I'm assuming well you're saying you can build in them. I didn't know if those were like instance zones that you're not able to build in or something. Or if there's like more areas over there that you can't build in because of them being instanced. Your builds are awesome to follow. Uh, I like to mix a little of all you guys in my builds helps me learn. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a ton of really great builders. It's a it's been an absolute pleasure getting to work alongside some of them, uh, learn from some of them. I've definitely learned a ton from watching other builders. So that is going to make up our foundation. So we have a four by four kind of square there. And then like you saw me do with the triangles, we're going to make this kind of three by or three by five foundation and then ceiling. So kind of three by six, it's going to cross. When I do the tutorial, we'll do official settings. We'll make a method. We'll, I'll show you a method um, using official settings on how to cross walls in the tutorial. But for this, I mean, I guess I could show you for this, but I don't really need to do it because it's not official settings. Uh, yeah, you can build in all of them. They have an extra wyvern cave in each of the, uh, each of the other realms. There are also dinos that are from other maps in them, like Asgard has shadow mains from Genesis. Oh, awesome. Oh, you know what? I was watching Fire Pumpkin do a live stream, and I'm assuming it was another one of the realms. She went in like this mushroom, like it looked like something out of Avatar, um, like cave, and it had like a, a bunch of different like really crazy looking plants. Um, and I'm assuming it was one of the other. It had like, the, all the glow pets in it. see you want wooden double door frames if i'm not blind there we go so this is just for um just for doing this on uh official settings you would have to do it this way so i'll just show you kind of like one corner on how to do it obviously for us you wouldn't really have to do it this way but um i'll show you guys how to do it on official settings actually let me go ahead and place the pillars first though but I'll get all this stuff out. Okay. So we're going to place a pillar on the corner. I don't know exactly how high. We'll just start off with five high. It 
possible is either another realm or one of the underground caves that have nothing in the except globe head space and materials. Yeah, I think it was an underground cave because it did have like an outer space and it was like outer space area to it. It was a really beautiful area, honestly. I mean, it would make like a, a gorgeous base location if you're able to build down there. All right, I already have everything. Okay, so what we're gonna do, basically, if we were doing this on official settings, we would want to place well for this one we don't need to because i'm going to keep this regular so i would just place a wooden double door frame on this one first and then i would place a thatch ceiling right here and for this one i'm going to i'm going to rotate the snap point to kind of flip it around so i would rotate the snap point and place it like that you go ahead and destroy that so now those wooden double door frames are crossing so i would do the same thing over here just gotta be careful not to get that uh, fence foundation. You have to do this in a specific order. Um, I'll just have to, on the tutorial, I'll obviously <laughs> slow it down and show you guys the exact order. But then once you do that, once you have them crossing with the double door frames, you can just replace those double door frames with walls. Uh, we need those thatch things there still, silly. You can replace those with walls and everything will remain a-okay. If I get the right snap point. Obviously, when I do these live streams, I'm not on official settings. So if this doesn't work on official settings, just uh, if you're trying to follow along to the live stream, uh, all I can say is I will have it working and 100% good to go on the tutorial. So just, you know, bear with me and we'll get it on the tutorial working the way we need it to. place that where I wanted it yeah that's right okay I want that one right there and then we want one like that there we go he's like I can place it on this one over here too just to keep it going oh Yeah, you can build down there also, but it's really weird to do it because there's like no gravity. Oh, okay. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. That would be, uh, that would definitely be a, uh, a killer for me. I wouldn't want to constantly have no gravity every every time I'm trying to do anything. All right, so we got these crossing walls. So now I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take stone across over here do the same thing over here on this side here in these first two spots. Well, I guess I can go ahead and place this down and then I'll go ahead and get a double, a stone double door frame. I'm actually gonna place two of those. And then over here, I want right here. I want to leave an opening for our, kind of this is going to be like our this side's going to be like our garage for our teams. So I want to leave an opening for that.
Aurora, does Monkey still do decor for you? Um, so she did the museum that I did a little while ago. Um, she came in and did that, but she's actually got a really awesome job um, in real life. Uh, that she's very, you know, very good for her and her family. Unfortunately, it uh, she's away a lot. She she does a lot of traveling for work, so her uh, she's kind of slowed down. I think pretty heavily on YouTube stuff. Um, and I've just you know not really. I don't want to bother her. I don't want to like you know ask her and, and be bugging her too much on coming in and doing decor. Um, with you know the fact that she's barely home and you know she has a family and everything. Obviously, doesn't really seem right to uh, be bugging her too much. So I've been recently for a while now i've been doing most of it myself uh but she did come in and do the museum so that was really nice of her let's go ahead and fill these guys in and i actually need to do my pillars i did not do pillars yet the castle I'm working on has a base area of 17 by 37. That sounds absolutely massive. Is it is it 37 long, I'm guessing? So it's a like a pretty well, I guess yeah. So it's like a pretty long looking castle. Yeah, it's been it's been uh as far as I understand from talking with her, it's been a huge uh fortune for her and her family so really excited for her. Uh, actually let's take that down one oh that snapped back here we don't want that Just kind of frame that little entrance over there. Do this from the inside. Seems like the stream is actually pretty stable this time. We're not having any issues, so um, let me know, guys, if there is like any choppiness. I have it up on my phone just because I was. Um, pretty pretty nervous that there was gonna be like this choppiness issue we had last time but it seems like it's all pretty good so hopefully we're in the clear hopefully I'm not jinxing myself right now uh, by saying something and then we're actually gonna go ahead and I want to get this on the foundation I think is it not gonna let me that's fine we'll put it on the ceiling Actually, that might be, that is actually placing on the foundation. Oop, missed the A. Thank you, Aurora. A nice little start going, I think. We'll uh, press on. Did I not hit I? Get 
some wooden walls out. We'll get some wooden catwalks out. Let's do these. Let's go ahead and do this stuff here real quick. Okay, I am able to do that. On official settings, you can't place catwalks above double door frames. So you have to do this whole method where you like replace it with a, we put a thatch door frame and it's, it's one of the most like annoying things about official settings is the fact that for some reason you can't place um, catwalks above thatch door for or double door frames. I'm not, I have no idea why that's a thing, but it is what it is. I might expand that out on the back a little bit. I'm not sure. I might I might add like a little, just like a little Viking little extension there on the back like I typically do with these builds. Haven't quite decided yet if I want to do that or not. And I think I'm going to take this three high. But we're going to do the double door frame trick here in the middle. So we'll get out. Get out one of these. Boom. Sort of like little braces. I, just, I really like the, I really like using uh, door frames kicked out to act like braces. I think it just looks really cool. Let me see. time we set it to this one one of the sides is gonna be dark no matter what time we set it to okay well I guess the back sides probably pretty light Maybe we should have turned the build around and did it the other way making sure that's what I wanted to do. Make sure this is at the height I want. Let's get out some ceilings. With our typical Viking roof now. It's 
said, Roar said, who all has inspired you to build these awesome builds? Thank you. Um, so when I like used to just play Ark, like probably, um, I don't know, maybe like four or five years ago, um, I used to watch somebody named Unite the Clans. Um, he doesn't make, he doesn't make videos anymore, I don't think, but he's like probably one of like the real OG builders. Um, and I used to like, so he kind of got me into building. Um, and then when I got back into Ark a few years ago, um, and I started like building a little bit more, I started watching Aaron, obviously is the biggest, you know, the biggest channel, the easiest one to find if you're like looking for, you know, videos on like to learn how to build better and whatnot. Um, so obviously started watching Aaron. I've learned a ton from Aaron. He's been a, like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like a, a more than I would have expected mentor. Like he's definitely like, you know, talk, we've, we've had talks. He's shown me or like, you know, talk me through stuff for not only building, but my channel uh, more than I would have ever expected. But so yeah, Aaron's definitely been a huge inspiration. All the architects, uh, Fire Pumpkin, Sandy, You Are Monkey, um, everybody who's been an architect that I've gotten to work with, Captain Fat Dog, they're just all like, just so many amazing builders. It's just crazy to even be like, getting to build alongside some of them at times and learn from them. And then uh, Cypher Sam's great, Pilgrim's Project, uh, all those guys are great. Uh, I've definitely learned some stuff from both of them, watching them a little bit here and there. I really like Pilgrim's stuff. He uh, he does a very good job at like getting a very unique look to his builds that like you look at it and you kind of know it's his without ever like even real like looking at the video or anything. So yeah, there's a ton of great builders. It's it's really crazy how many great builders. When I started watching Pil or uh, when I started watching Unite the Clans, there wasn't that many builders really at all. I don't. I don't know if there really even was any other than him and I think maybe uh, GG Fizz, but uh, now there's just a ton. Now there's like like hundreds really probably. There's probably a hundred people that are like really, really talented builders. Yeah, love the L shape, thank you. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's different for a, a Viking style build. It's not necessarily a long house, it's more of a kind of almost even a fort, I guess, or go with that and then yeah just continue doing the old viking style so get this wall in the furthest fence foundation and flip the wall around place another one here in the middle and then one more close to us and flip that one around these uh these walls going down the middle it really doesn't matter which way they're facing we're really just kind of using them um, to attach our ramps and our railings and whatnot too. So it, it really doesn't change anything if you get the one facing one way or one facing the other way. right here. I thought it was further away. Oh, I already have catwalks out. We'll go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the catwalks first. Actually, you know what? I want to go ahead and do the ramps because I, I like to do the ramps before I can't see, <laughs> before I'm like having trouble seeing with too much stuff. No, love them. Yeah, love Pilgrim. Yeah, Pilgrim's awesome. He's he does a, uh, like I said, really unique, cool stuff, and he's also uh, been actually. Let me get some stairs out too. Not so much as like a mentor as Aaron, but he's you know always been like very um, supportive, and I've gotten to, I guess, not really talk to him, but have a sl a small online relationship with him as well. So it's been. Really cool. Not that never, never really thought I would be. Uh, when I started like watching these guys builds and stuff, and then I was like, you know what? Let me. You know, I, I like to build. Let me try making some of these tutorial videos and whatnot. Never did I imagine that I would like actually get to like talk to and like build with some of these people. So it's pretty wild.
All right, we're not. So I could place this one right now, like obviously because of no clip, but I don't think that one will work on official settings. So I'm not gonna place it now just cause I don't wanna place something that won't even actually work. I don't wanna lie to y'all and make you think that's possible. I'm pretty confident that one won't be able to be placed, but it's fine. I mean, it's tucked up against the, the wall. You really can't barely even tell that there's a lot, like less of a lip there. Can't wait to play on the Architect server. Love Fire Pumpkin and her decor. That's how I got into all, all of you. Or, yeah, all of you. Yeah, um, yeah, her stuff's really great. It's it's absolutely insane. That is like the one thing, like, I've gotten better at building um, from where I started, but like the core, it's just, I don't understand how some of them like look at like random objects in the game and are like, oh, if I combine this, that, and the other thing that's over, I have over here, if I combine all of these things, I can make a pool table or I can make a whatever, you know, it's just, it's crazy, the stuff that people come up with decor. I, I, I don't think I'll ever have the eye for decor like they do. Um, but yeah, definitely the architect server. I'm, I, I might play on it. I, I don't know, you know, it's been, it's been a solid, I'd say probably three years um, since I've like actually played Ark, like played the game. Other than doing building tutorials, I haven't played Ark in probably a good three years, but I'm tempted. I'm like, I'm really tempted, and especially like building this, like working on this a little bit. Um, I don't know, a lot of my builds recently have been like pens or just houses, but like actually building something like a workshop that I'm gonna, like, you could really use this in the game. And like, it just reminds me of like my time playing the game and it really makes me wanna play again. So I might be on those servers. Maybe I'll do some like, you know, more frequent live streams of gameplay here and there. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm tempted. I am definitely tempted. But you should definitely, uh, when you get the chance, you should definitely join up because I, I don't know about other architects, but I'm gonna be doing, like I said, giveaways um, where basically I'll have a way to give away a build like this, you know, where you'll you know enter into a raffle and I'll draw names and the winners will, I'll come on the server and just straight up build it. I'll you I'll, be granted creative mode for a little bit to do it. And I will just flat out build you this build without you having to do anything, without you having to lift a finger outside of telling me where you want it, basically. You you show me where you want it and I'll build it, is essentially what I'm trying to do for people. So it'd be a pretty cool way to interact with the community, um, maybe bring some more attention to the server and whatnot. So yeah, I would love to see everybody. everybody I've had a lot of people in my Discord and stuff like asking like if I'd ever have a server and I think the Architects official server is going to kind of be my home, so yeah, if you guys ever want to consider a server, I guess that's the server I'm playing on, that would probably be it. Let's go ahead and do the stairs and stuff over here. So how do the stairs help? Please would be cool. Are you talking about these stairs right here? Like how do, why, why am I using stairs? Is that what you're asking?
Uh, so the reason I'm using the stairs is um, on official settings, you have to, there's a little bit of a workaround where you can use sloped wooden roofs right there. Um, but the easiest way I feel like to do it is to just use stairs and then switch them to ramps. Because on official settings, like I said, there's like a workaround you have to do to get the ramps to go through. Um, so, but if you just use stairs, the ramps just clip through them no matter what. Like you don't have to like do anything special to get the ramp to clip through the, the stairs. You, you do have to get the right snap point, but other than that, it, it clips right through. No, it doesn't really help with the line of the roof. A lot of people, um, I think like Aaron and some other people when they do Viking builds, they'll actually completely get rid of this little portion. They don't have that. They just have like the straight sloped roof. Uh, but I, I mean, you can definitely do that. I just personally, I like having that little kick out. I just think it kind of adds a little bit more to the roof rather than it just being a plain slope. Um, but it doesn't really, it's not necessary by any means. Um, it's just a personal thing, I guess, that I like the little texture I like to have there. Um, what do we need to do? We need to do the catwalks. Did I do the cat? No, I didn't do the catwalks over here. We're actually moving really quick. I don't, I did not, uh, I did not think this would be this quick of a build, but maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll have some stuff. A little bit more challenges, I guess, to add on to it. But yeah, we're actually moving like very quickly compared to, I think, what I normally do. <laughs> Let's get out some railings. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely like it really either way. Like the, it looks good without the that little kick out too. It's just personal preference. Just drop a few rope ladders. I'm not gonna put them right there, actually. Does it come help with the castle? It's gonna be a multiple day build. <laughs> I don't, you know, I'm trying to think, have I ever done a castle? I don't think I've ever done like a full on, uh, I don't think I've ever done a full on castle. I can't say I have. Uh, what am I looking for? Trophy. Yeah. Hey, Cobalt. Good to see you. How you doing? How's your? Uh, is it nighttime for you? Is it? Is it late for you too? me one second let's uh i'm gonna google the cheat code real quick to pop in the the trophy mount here I got it. Workshop looks good. Thank you, Cobalt. Jeremiah, that should be your next build then. Only 9 p.m.? Okay, so yeah, it's, it's 9 p.m. here too, so... Must be the same time zone. I always forget. It's hard to it's hard to keep track of where people where what you know time zones everybody's in. 
Uh, I think my next, the next stuff I've been kind of trying to get figured out is a, uh, is a, uh, what is it, the Des, Desmodus, Desmodus Draculus, is that the bat? I've been trying to figure out a good pen for that thing. I want, I want to be able to make it hang, like I don't, I don't want to just have it sitting on the ground, I want to have it hanging, but the hanging mechanics are a little bit wonky, so I've been, been struggling a little bit to get exactly what I want, uh, done with that guy. Alright, we are going to... Do something a little bit different over here to fill in these spots. Oh, that's on the fence foundation. All right, and then we'll just go ahead and pop these guys down. And just place these in front of them. On a trike and spinal, no tech, nothing fell about 100 times and died. Oh my goodness. Where did you fall from? Did I miss something? Where did, where did you fall from that you're dying? Got some ceilings, some fence foundations, some pillars. We'll start with that. Just trying to do something over here to kind of give this a little bit more uh, than just being a plain wall. Just give it a little bit of, I guess, texture or something to make it stand out a little bit. Would love to see your idea for a castle and, and a Viking village with like a blacksmith and armory and shop and houses. Yeah, that's definitely, I like, I, you know, I haven't done like any, um, like large like setting builds yet but that a viking one would definitely be a cool setting build maybe that's something that i could try to convince some of the other architects to get together and do like a joint thing where we throw up a viking village on a live stream or something i'll have to to run it by some people would love a bat build yeah i've been trying honestly this build right here this started off as, a, as like a, an attempt to do the bat build like i was gonna have like the two side, the two long parts be like the pens, but like, it's just, it didn't, it wasn't working out with the sloped roofs on how to like hang them. I wanted it to be like a Viking style still, um, but trying to hang the bats from like this sloped roof style, it doesn't work very well. They get, they get like all kinds of different ways. So I might have to come up with something a little bit more flat, um, but I'm, I'm trying to brainstorm something. Should probably stop falling then. Uh, I found when I was playing, like when I actually played and I would build, I like to get on the back of a, uh, the, not Parasaur, the, uh, God, what's it called? What's the, not the, you know, like the kind of para racer, para racer, is that, is that how you say it? Those are like my favorite to use just because they're kind of like medium height. So I could like kind of build low or build high on them. That would be like my weight, my tame I would uh, usually choose to stand on. There we go, we got like a little, little, little balcony type of thing going there. It looks all right. We can probably add some more, maybe a little bit later. I'll do that again right over here, just do the same process.
You could maybe even uh, maybe even replace the wood here with greenhouse if you want to have like a little window. I don't really know how much like a green a glass window fits into a Viking theme, uh, but if you want to have like a, a viewing inside of your into the build, you could probably do that. I just uh, try to avoid using too much greenhouse when I do the Viking stuff because I don't really think it fits the theme that well. That's cool. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Cobalt. And then we'll get some stone walls and we'll just kind of make this thing happen. And the, thing about, the cool thing about like this build, I think, is uh, like right now we kind of have like these two sides are like sort of set up as like, you know, blocked off. But you could always, uh, you know, just throw two more of the of the Viking, like the, you know, the, the builds we did for the L. You could throw two more of those long builds on each of these sides and have kind of like a, a plus sign looking build. Uh, if you want to add like more space for storage or more space for crafting or something. On the bat hanging from a ceiling, would a row of ceilings or catwalks from the center of a dino gate work? Uh, I don't know. I haven't tried that. That might actually work just as like kind of like a clothesline. You have just like two dino gates with like, I guess you would need a wall going up the dino gate though because you, you don't actually snap it to the dino gate. You snap it to the wall. Um, but that might work. It might might be something you can, that could... Uh... I had another version that was like a, a short like little ceiling thing. It was just basically like what you would almost use as like a gateway type of build and uh yeah same thing I, I was i've been trying to keep the viking style but i might just have to ditch the viking style for that build not ditch it completely you just maybe come up with like something a little different looking and welcome yeah welcome out uh how do you say that alfie ward is that how you pronounce it sorry if that's not how you pronounce it welcome thank you for joining the live stream Uh, do we want to take this? I think that might be good. That might be a good enough height. Oh, what's going on? My mouse just bugged out. Obviously, on official settings, you'll have to we'll have to do a little bit of a trick there to get that get those walls down into the ceilings. Um, but as always on the tutorial, we will do all the tricks and things to make that work. Big fan fan of the way you make the stone stand out by mixing with other structure sets. Building looks great. Hey, thanks so much, Sandy. Thanks for being here, man. Good to. Good to hear from you. Yeah, stone, the stone can be, the stone in this game can definitely, if you just throw up a bunch of stone and you don't like flip it or mix it or anything, it can definitely start to just get very, very, just like a wall of stone, just plain. So you definitely need to do something, I think, whether it be pillars or gates or flipping stuff around, you got to do something to mix it up. Thank you, Aurora. Let's get some of these. I think this is a good enough height. Oh, we're gonna need another pillar. Yeah, I think this is, I don't think I wanna go too high with this part. We're gonna add a little thing there to the center too, I think. But I think as far as just this goes, we'll keep it like right around this height. Let's 
Let's say mono monotonous. What is what is monotonous? Oh, they want that. They want this. Oh, it becomes monotonous. Okay. Learn it can make or break a build. Yeah, definitely, Aurora. I've seen a ton of great looking, like, like and, you know, not, not to, I mean, they're still really good builds. Like, I've seen a lot of really, really good builds on, like, Facebook and, like, Facebook groups and, like, Reddit even and, you know, different social media platforms that... Like they're very good builds, but they just need to do a little bit of breaking them up, a little bit of adding some, you know, just some different textures and whatnot to get a little bit of that, you know, take away some of the stone and make it not just a, a big stone build, but it's like a, a really great concept. But that's just stuff you learn, you know, that's just practice. And um, I know going back to some of my order, my original videos, it's like, oh man, what was I doing now? Now I'm just like, oh man, what was I doing? But it's all it's all a learning process just picking up different tricks from uh, different people just getting home thought i'd say hey see y'all later all right sandy thanks for stopping in man always good to hear from you bud we will uh see you around first i thought monotonous like you're just you know talking about my voice go well i was like man you know i've hey look it's late i worked a, i worked a, a nine ten hour day today like come on man don't don't tear me down <laughs> i'm just kidding all right don't don't go too don't start doing the inside yet let's uh let's finish the outside first chips come on let's get some catwalks going Do a few catwalks. Yeah, I'll just do one with just like one ladder hanging, maybe maybe two ladders hanging. Uh, you know what I found looks good? Adobe walls with wooden double doorways. I don't know if I've tried that. Actually, that's something I'll have to, I'll have to play around with and see, see what you've what you've got going there. I can't say I've ever actually attempted that. Maybe I have. I think I did like an Adobe tower a while ago where I mixed. I don't think I used double double doors. I think I used Adobe walls with the wooden gate, wooden dinosaur gate. Um, but yeah, it'll probably be the similar look. Enjoy your voice. It's soothing. Well, thank you. I, uh, I, I don't intend for it to be soothing, but I'm glad it is. <laughs> All right, let's see here. We're going to go ahead and build up a little bit more from here. Not sure how high. I think I'm going to open that back up, but I need to, I need to fill it in for now just to get these facing the right way. And then we can go ahead and open it back up. Because why not? Why not have it be open? Is that high enough? Let's look at it. Let's look at it from the money shot over here. I think I want to go one higher on the wall before I do the double or the stone door frames.
and then we'll do the stone door frames on the very top. And then we'll just go ahead and add our pillars in. The double doors makes for a kind of log cabin framing. Yeah, I'll have to, like I said, I'll have to look into that. That is not something that I can say I've tried, so I'll have to give it a go. I didn't really need those right there, but I almost am curious what it would look like to do double doors right here with the stone double doors. Oh, it's gonna blend in, huh? Yeah, it's not gonna really stand off. I kind of just want like. I was hoping that would like stand off enough to where I could get, instead of having to use pillars on the corners, because I don't want that like jagged corner. I wanted to like smooth it out, but it's not going to stand off very well. I would have to do something with those. I'd have to put those walls on like fence foundations or something to get them to kind of pull back a little bit. Thank you, Aurora. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Aurora. I was thinking about doors. I was reading door. I almost said Adora. I'm not going all the way through. Oh, it's not. I gotta go one more. Let's try to add a little bit more to that top part. We're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna get a little crazy. We're gonna get a little carried away. Try to do a little bit more uh, for that portion. Oh, I put it one down. I was like, where did the where did the the ceiling go? I think I like that. I think it adds a little bit extra a little bit extra texture on each side. The love this castle, but not more subdued style. I mean the. What do you mean by not more subdued style? I mean it's not. It's not or it stands out or. I 
this whole piece up here I think is pretty much just decorative I don't think it's gonna really come into any kind of use as far as like the build itself like the workshop area goes this really has turned into a Viking I guess fort or Viking castle rather than a workshop but uh, we'll make use of the inside as if it was a workshop but it could really be used as a house or something too it doesn't necessarily have to be a workshop You'll die doing this one. <laughs> um, I think, yeah. I mean, you'll have you'll have pretty good, pretty good stuff to stand on. I think. <laughs> Sorry. You just gotta get like a get a flyer to get you up here, and then go from there. Reminds you of a medieval monastery. Yeah, it is. I think with the tower, you definitely risk kind of going more to the medieval side with the tower. I try to keep it like a shorter little one uh, to try to like make it not such a like huge castle. But I think we're getting as I as I tend to do with a lot of my builds, I just tend to keep adding stuff to where it gets a little more and more out of hand. I think that adds like a nice little bit of texture there to the top rather than just being a, I mean you could definitely cut that top portion off like I said it's not going to be used for anything it's just literally to give a little bit more detail and like just to kind of up the the corner there but I mean you could cut it off and just have like that small or that like big square base there at the top that you could obviously land some stuff on and whatnot uses like a storage for a flyer or something uh, sorry, wrong words. It's better not, not castle. Better uh, oh, better home. Yeah, it could definitely be used as a home. Hey, Vlad, how's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you in here, Vlad. It's in keeping with Vikings. Yeah, I, I, hopefully these give it enough of a Viking feel. Uh, these sides, to kind of. I mean, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure Vikings had like stone structures like that too, like little forts and whatnot. So. It could definitely be, be more medieval, more, you know, could be really, really whatever you want it, whether you want it to be Viking or medieval. You remove those those spikes, I think, off the roof, and you you get more of a medieval uh, feel <laughs> to it. So let's uh, let's go ahead inside and start seeing how we can fit some stuff in here. Obviously, this is going to be our forge room. This is going to be where our forge goes. Oh, this looks, I like how this looks from the inside. Very Minecraft -y. very Very much a Minecraft build from the inside. So obviously, yeah, this is gonna, oh, let's actually, this is gonna be our garage where our tames are. So let's put a gate up here to keep people from getting into our actual house. So this will have a gate right there so people can't get in. And then you can obviously open it up. Could use it as a small taming trap. <laughs> yeah, you definitely could. Can we fit a uh, fabricator at the end here or do we need to make a little thing for it? Or not a fabricator, a, uh, a grinder. So I think that's going to be like the biggest thing other than the forge. Okay, so we could fit a grinder right here. So you could just put the grinder right here if you wanted. Obviously we would close that we wouldn't have the doors there. We would change that out instead of having doors there. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put something else on the outside other than doors on this one. I could actually probably put the door right here. That might be a good idea. We'll keep the uh We'll keep that. Oh, I gotta do something. So 
So we'll go with that, and then I think we can just go ahead and throw like a window frame right here. Instead of the... Gotta delete the double doors, so I keep forgetting that. It's my favorite, one of my favorite tricks and one of my, one of the worst tricks, I guess. Make the grinder float. Can you make it float on official settings? I don't think I've ever actually floated it like that. And then let's go ahead and do this right here. You can get in right here, right? Yeah, I have like a nice little side entrance right there rather than it being right out in the open or right out in the, on the side like it typically is. We can, you know, we can always change it. I can go back to the original. I just tend to do these like end entrances. So I think it's kind of cool to do something a little bit different there. Oh, float it with the trap door. I'm curious if on official settings, if that would actually work. I think, I don't know if that will fit right there on official settings. Like it might be, it might be a little too tight. We'll go ahead, let's get some vaults out. almost wish I was on official settings just so I could like tell when I'm going through the wall instead of like putting these things in a weird spot to where they're hanging out the other side of the wall. So we'd only be able to probably on official settings we'd only be able to fit if we have the door there and the grinder there we'd only be able to have four and then the grinder and then four so we'd only be able to have eight wonder how many would be able to fit if we didn't have the grinder right there. Probably, what, three on this side, so seven, maybe one on each end if we move the grinder. I wanna try something a little bit different and then we can, we can decide as a team what looks better. Let's build the grinder like a little, a little thing on the outside for it. Um, Do I want it on the inside or on the outside? Do I want to build it like a little room on the inside of the build, on the, like the, in the middle here, or do I want to build it on the outside? I think I'm build it on the outside. It does, but it might hit the roof. Yeah, I think it, it probably would hit the roof then. Let's go ahead and get just one, two, three, four. That should be good enough. And we're gonna have to get some ceilings out. do we want to take do we want it to take it right up to the roof oh yeah we'll need to for the grinder to fit yeah we'll need to do that place right there we go again this is kind of just experimenting here we'll see if we like this if it's gonna be a viable option for putting the grinder in here Let's get 
our sloped roofs going. Alright, so we have this like little side. Let's put some. I know I'm doing I'm doing stuff extra stuff on this without even knowing if we're actually gonna do it the way we're, that I'm setting it up, but we could actually still may, well we might close that we might put it back on the end if we're gonna use this area as cat or as a storage. All right, so these walls can go. We have like a little room here maybe for it. Might not even need that big, but I like to keep it kind of the same on each side. Oh, wrong thing. Yeah, I don't think that'll have an issue on even on official. I think you can definitely fit that in there. I don't know why I just made another grinder. <laughs> uh, where's the vaults? There we go. Get the ladder back out. Where's the ladder? There we go. All right. Now we can put vaults all along this wall and probably a few on the ends. I could block that off and put this I like kind of like the door. I kind of like the door on the side though. I think it's kind of different than what we normally do. If you squeeze them in there a little tighter than I did, you can definitely fit that many. We could fit like one right here. Cause these vaults you can you can definitely push these like up into each other. Even on official, they can like be like really snug tight to each other. And then yeah, we have our, our door over here. We could also, like I said, we could move the door back to the front there. Or you can keep it right here. I don't think I don't normally put doors like on normally I would always put the door right here so it's kind of nice to do something a little bit different and have it there on the side and then we can just keep this door here do we want to do anything different here is the question let's get out some double door frames maybe put these like this I don't think we really need those catwalks. Oh, forget the double door. I forget the railings look different. I want that flip. All right, that might not work. Might have might have to do that at an earlier step because the ceiling might be getting in the way. Thank you, Aurora. Thank you again. Um. Well, we have that kick out over here. I think I kind of want to keep it the same. Maybe do another kick out on this side, and that'll kind of like hug this stair, like make that stair not look so like not look awkward. And then that kick out will be kind of like a nice little parking spot we can almost like park our tames in.
Oh wait, that should only be one, right? Yeah, I'm getting crazy, I'm getting carried away. Plenty of room to pull down. Yeah, there's yeah, there's a good amount of space. You can definitely store them in here too. Um, get out this. Get out the wooden stuff. slope wall might help placing the railing. Oh yeah, I get what you mean. I haven't done that in a good amount of time. I haven't had to use that. But I think I'm okay with maybe doing this and just have, you can pull the dinos like right up in to this little thing. Like it's almost like a garage or like a, a bay within the garage. <laughs> A garage within a garage for parking them. You can keep those doors there just to make it look a little different. And then let's go ahead and delete this stuff. It would be cool to have like these little like spaces where you would park everything, but I don't think our harvesting tames will fit through that. You know, it'd be cool, Vlad, with you here. Now, like, now, since I've got you here, Vlad. See if we can do this. Let's see if I'm if I'm losing my mind because I thought this was a thing you could do. This should be about the right height, right? I don't, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Can we place this? That's going to open the other way. What do I got to do to churn that? I guess is my question. What do I got to do to make it so I can plate so it can open the other way? Or is it, is it not something that can happen? Well, it works. If it works on a wall. So it works if you use a wall, but on the foundation, it wants to open the other way. I mean, obviously, if this was a, if I wasn't building this on official settings, I could just drop a wall down and do it that way. But being that it's on official settings, I'm not going to do that. Like I could just do this and then probably get that snap point that I want. Yeah, there it is. Let's do it right here. If I wanted to do this on a non-official server, I could just do that, but and then you have like a little bit of a door there. Oh, back in that little area is a good place to keep the hawks. Yeah, that would be a nice little hawk storage area. You might not even be able to walk over this though with the tame, huh? It's probably like it's all crazy with it when you're well maybe we'll see let's see let's throw one out open up or like we did in comp one with the garage doors was that you that did that i remember i mean i, I was a judge so i remember getting to like see that but i couldn't remember i didn't remember if it was you or um somebody else that did it Oh yeah, you can. Well, no, you can get them over. Eventually, it takes them a little bit to get over, but eventually they it cooperates and comes over. Yeah. So how could I get this to work without placing the walls? Because it looks like it needs a wall to be able to snap in this direction. 
So how could I how could I make this work without placing that wall down like I you know like I just did? I guess that's what I need to try to figure out. Because this would be pretty cool, like to put that garage to use. Like that's such a good idea. I don't know if, if I don't know. I mean, I think it was. I guess it was your build. Um, I, like I said, I don't remember, but whoever came up with that in the first place, such such a clever idea. Like to be able to use these as like garage doors. Look how that looks sick too. Oh my gosh, I really want that. I really want to make it work. I gotta figure out. How, I'm gonna have to play around with this in the process of making the tutorial and figure out how to make that work without dropping a wall. Oh, it was a different competition, not the, uh, not that, okay. Wonder if I put it, no, I can't drop it. Oh my gosh, I wanna make it work. I gotta figure this out. What if I did a ceiling? Uh, that doesn't, well, I guess that doesn't look that bad. I don't think that'll work though. I don't think you can even. Wait, wait, that's attaching in the right direction. The question then is, can I get it to open downward? The answer is probably no. These things always bug me out. Like I don't know like really the, the uh, like science behind getting them to open in the different directions and whatnot. Time to get the skiff out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gotta do a tilted structure. I, uh, yeah, I did that tilted, I did that ship for the Star Wars event on a tilted structure. And like, and I did, I mean, I did like a, a one of the original like Ferris wheels we did on the first, uh, the first Fright Fest like two years ago. And yeah, tilted structures, they're cool. Like they're really cool, but man, they are, they are interesting build with it you get you get some nausea or at least i get a little nauseous and like i start getting turned around on where, where i'm placing stuff and everything uh we need to make a saddle for this guy i need to make all the saddles Yeah, just eventually it just gives in and goes over. All right, this might not be an option because it, it definitely bugs the dinosaurs a little bit. There we go. It would be very cool if we can uh, if I can get this to work in it. Yeah, it might it might be a little bit of a pain to get your dinosaur over it, but I think personally I think it's worth it. I think it's a I think the uh, the juice is worth the squeeze, as my middle aged coworker would say. bring in is there anything see like like i said guys all right i'm gonna, I'm gonna be a moment of transparency i haven't played in so long i don't even remember i don't remember if there's like a better tame for getting thatch than the deer than the reindeer like i know the therizinosaurus gathers thatch pretty well and like some other stuff but like i don't remember if they gather it better i always liked the deer just because of how fast it can move around like i felt like i was getting more done quick quicker because I was moving around so quick, but I don't know. I haven't played in forever, so I don't really remember if there's anything better for this. You can just jump over, there we go. Look, buddy, you got it, there we go, get in there. Wait till I rebuild the illusion maze. That thing really makes you feel uneasy. Yeah, dude, those those tilted structures are just insane. Like I can't can't deal with them. 
All right, let's get some more of our stuff down here. We'll put a forge in here, obviously. I always forget that the forge, uh, I couldn't move that back some. This is the nice thing about having, like when you do have, um, did I put that on the hotbar? I did not. This is the nice thing about having the, uh, like official settings turned on is you can tell like how far back things are by like whether or not it's getting obstructed. Whereas without official settings, you're just kind of left to kind of try to eyeball it. That wouldn't, that would definitely, it, it can fit. It can definitely fit. Um, let's see, put a fabricator over here. And then we can put our chem bench right here. Just like kind of right here in the corner. We can put our generator on the, just on this side. Um, I don't really want to leave it out in the open, but if we put a wall around it right here, that, that's not, this is the only thing trying to figure out where the, this stuff goes perfectly. So we put a wall around it right here. That wall will like be awkward. It won't because like I crossed the walls right there. Is there anywhere else we could tuck it in here? If we put the door back over there, we could always just place it right here. It'd be a little more hidden. Let's go ahead and put it right here for now. I guess if you if we uh, if we really turn it, we can get it get placed in this way pretty. Obviously, like once we're building with official settings, we'll have to be a little more cautious of how we place things, but all of that will come in the tutorial, of course. Um, I think I have the gasoline idea. I think I did it. I, I thought I already spawned it in, but I guess I must have dropped it when I dropped everything else. There we go, we got our chem bench going. I got a grinder over here. We could probably fit a few more. Um, if we move the grinder over, maybe we could probably fit another st uh, vault right there. And then obviously, if you're if you're you know wanting to fill this with tech stuff. You could fit a lot of tech storage in that room. It's a pretty good size storage room, I think. Everything fits in here pretty tight. And then it's just gonna be up to me to figure out if there's a way to get this to work on official settings, because I really, really want, I really wanna have that little garage setting where you can throw up the, uh, the gates there. Vlad, why make life hard with official settings? Uh, because, believe it or not, surprising, surprisingly enough, a large majority of people still play on official servers. And I learned, I learned my lesson about a year and a half ago when I had a video just suddenly start getting a lot of views out of nowhere, like went from like, I don't know, like 4,000 views to like 30,000 views in the course of a week. And I wasn't, I was using unofficial settings at the time and every, I had like hundreds, hundreds of comments in that video and probably 50% of them were, this doesn't work on official settings. This doesn't work on official settings. This doesn't work on official settings. And yeah, I was like, oh man. So that is when with air, with advice from Aaron talking to him, he convinced me that it was time to switch to official settings and figure, do things the hard way make them work the hard way so that people everybody can do everybody can use the builds so it's just the lip can you use the ceiling to flatten it out or level the doors i love the doors <laughs> are you talking about these right here talking about the the garage doors i really I, i'll ah man i don't know i'll talk i'll i will i will see if i can get Fat dog to maybe try to figure it out for me. I don't know. I might have to talk to Captain Fat Dog and see if he can, if he can figure it out. Be 
because the only way I've seen so far is using those walls below. I don't know if there's something else I can place to make it work. Uh, can you even, no, you can't place a catwalk. A fence foundation I don't think will work. Um, it just depends on what else maybe we could use. I wonder if there's a way no no there's definitely not a way you can't like you can't just straight up replace a hatch a giant hatch frame if it was a single hatch frame you could just replace it but you can't replace a giant hatch frame even then you have to get it to clip the right way we'll have to figure it out we'll have to look into it i think though i mean with these garage doors in the way if we get the garage doors to work, that kind of it kind of takes away a lot of the space you have in this in this room. You're losing a lot of your space, um, but I think it's definitely worth it. Like you definitely lose a lot of ground that you could have some stuff hidden or some like extra stuff stored in here. But it's totally worth it in my opinion. I mean, it just adds such a great look. Trying to see if there's anything else I want to add. Do I want to just throw in a little bit of details here and there? Um, maybe just some like stone railings going along, just certain parts, like one or two little stone railings here or there. Maybe just some stuff like that. Just to kind of mix up the walls a little bit more, give them a little more texture. You can always just do that. Like you can honestly, like one of the greatest ways I think to mix up texture on a stone wall is just to pop a stone railing in random locations just to kind of break it up and give it a little bit of a different style. Tilt it, you know you want to. <laughs> Yeah, I think just the like the initial tilt, like just doing the tilted structure technique, probably already makes it off. You know, takes off official settings. not get that on the right spot like, why does that look so weird that adds a little bit a little bit more texture to it i guess it's not really necessary though it might all it might actually take away from the just like the general look of a like a fort or like a keep type of setting You can tilt it. Okay, yeah, I wasn't, I've never actually tried it on official settings, so I wasn't really sure if you were able to actually do it or not. But I would imagine, like, as you start, like, once you tilt a structure and you start, like, trying to put, like, build stuff down to the ground, you probably start running into clipping issues. But I don't know. You're, you're, you are definitely way more experienced with tilting structures than I am. I will concede that 100% every single time. You, uh, I can never pronounce his name, but Sephiro, is it Sephiros? Is that how you say his name? Like y'all are like, like absolutely geniuses with the tilting stuff. So I don't think there's really anything else to add. I think we've got a good amount of little details. I think I like these little kickouts on each side to put the put the tames in as well as to put the grinder in. Yeah, I don't know that there's really much more to add to it. Um, the big thing will just be trying to figure out how to get that thing to work. The garage doors. Let me go ahead and turn off the uh, 
turn off the names there. Sorry, I had to bend down. I got my controller here on the ground using my mouse and keyboard. Yeah, his cube, his cube, uh, his cube touches on a point though, doesn't it? Like when it, it hits the ground, it doesn't really go through the ground. It touches like on the point or on the tip of it. I think that's it. I don't think I'm gonna paint it. I don't think, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna paint this on stream. Um, just because it is, is getting a little late. What time is it? It's probably like almost 10.30 now. It's 10.07. Yeah, it's getting a little bit late. So, uh, at least for me, I have to be up at six in the morning for work. So, what in the world? Oh, I, <laughs> I thought there was like a little bat hanging out there. I was like, what in the world? But yeah, I think I like it. I think it's a little different than what we've done so far with the Viking style. Kind of a mix maybe of medieval and Viking. Thank you, Aurora. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Been very nice. Very, very encouraging. <laughs> nice storage area over here. Uh, with the grinder, obviously, to break things that, you know. Obviously, you want the grinder, I think, in the same room as your storage. So that you, if you have stuff in storage you want to break down, you can just throw it over there and break it down. Big question, if we're able to get these garage doors to work, is can we get the Anki over to the um over to the forge like if we're coming into the build we're coming in here obviously we have a little hiccup there the Yankee gets over it pretty easily though oh yeah all right we can get the Yankee right up to the forge no issues drop off all our metal and be on with our day bring him back over here park him good to go you know, I was saying like a little while ago, like this kind of stuff, like building something like this that like actually has a legitimate practical use um, in the game rather than just like, obviously, you know, you want a nice house, you want some pens and stuff to put your tames in. But like something like this, I feel like really has a practical use in the game. This kind of stuff makes me want to play again. It gives me that itch to actually play and not just do a building tutorial for it, but to actually like start playing the game and build this myself in the game and embrace the struggle that I put everybody else through by making them do this without creative mode. Yeah. Something I still need to learn how to build. Is that the, you're talking about the cube? But yeah, I think that is gonna do it guys. I think that will do it for the build. I am going to start trying to figure out, not tonight, but I will try to figure out a loop. Spend a little bit of time trying to figure out how to get that to work on official. If I can't, then we will just start, you know, recording this tutorial and get it out as soon as possible. Hopefully, hopefully not too long. Hopefully we can get it out pretty quick. But that is going to, I think, do it for tonight's stream. I'm going to go ahead, go to bed. I got to get up early for work. Uh, these late night streams are fun. It's kind of cool having that late night atmosphere, but it's definitely a little more tiring. Um, but I do want to say thank you all for being here, hanging out. Uh, thank you. Our, sorry, somebody. Okay. Thank you, Aurora. Aurora, you've been here the entire time. It's been awesome chatting with you, hanging out. Vlad, thanks for stopping in. I don't know if Cobalt's still here, but it's, it's been awesome talking to you, Cobalt. Who else was here? There was somebody here that, uh, somebody that was here, I think, for the majority of the stream. Who else was it? Was it, uh, was it Jeremiah? I'm not sure if Jeremiah's still here, but if you are, Jeremiah, thanks for stopping in. Alfie, thank you for stopping in as well. Been awesome uh, getting to talk to you a little bit. But yeah, I think that is going to do it. We are we are a little naked here. Ignore that. Ignore my naked character. But yeah, that's going to do it for the stream, everybody. Thank you so much for being here again. Uh, it's awesome hanging out with you guys. I hope to see you guys in the next stream. And we will uh, get this tutorial out as soon as possible. So everybody, take care. Have a good night. Um, and have a good week if I don't see you guys before the end of the week.